Well, this is something I always wanted to do for a while. Um, it's Thursday morning, and for the past week, I've always wanted to do this particular video. I just didn't know how, and I, um, I don't know how to do this because I've never done things like this. But I just wanted to get some things or something off my chest, like come clean, because it's regarding a certain something about me that people have, some people have talked about, and um, I just want to say, yeah, I, I am Canadian. I just um. Um, I just wanted to do this just to put this out there that yeah I am Canadian and I didn't want to hide this feeling anymore and um, I just wanted I just want this weight to get off my chest and um, it's and I'm glad to do that like this is not the only like, this is not the first time I, I told somebody or people that I am Canadian it's like I did tell some friends and family and a lot everybody did support me um, but my parents were a bit shocked about they were shocked but they still supported me my mom actually had to leave the room for a couple of minutes and um, but I'm glad that I have people supporting me and who I am you know I'm I'm glad I got this off my chest. Now, with that all the way, I'm going to talk about my bisexuality. Now, most of my life, I actually did really like girls, and um, I liked them. I was really afraid of them. Well, not afraid. I just really liked how they looked, how they dressed, with their smiles. And for most of my life, I just assumed like. A lot of guys would just be friends and that's it. And that was me, like, I had crushes on girls, infatuations with girls, you know, whatever, or women. Um, and uh, it was, uh, it was fine. It was, I thought it was straight my whole life. And then when I was in high school, um, it, it, could, that trend continued up and when I was in high school. And, uh, and up until grade 11 when I started actually having some sort of feelings for another guy and I didn't know I didn't really know much and then I about what was going on like I still like girls but I like guys too um then I got a girl had a girlfriend I don't know how I I don't know how we met but um you know it was I actually, no, seriously, I still don't know how we met. We never kissed. We dated a couple of times. We went on a couple of dates. And uh, I was still confused about the whole thing. And this was when, around seven, when I was 17, I figured this out. Along the time when I met my girlfriend. Um, but we're still not, we're not dating anymore. We kind of drifted apart after I went to college. Um, I did tell my ex about me by being bisexual and she goes are you serious and I'm like yeah and amazingly enough she was the first person I told and um, if you know my friend Agnes she's been here for a couple of times she um like she figured it out she knew that I was not straight but I like I was kind of straight, but she, you know, I, she knew I was into girls, but in a weird way, I was not interested at the same time, and so, like, my ex kind of drifted apart, drifted away, drifted away, and, um, it was not, like, oh, man, like, the relationship wasn't her fault, she tried, it's just that I had so much to think about that I didn't know what was going to happen in the relationship. So I went to college, and um, from that point on, I just, um, 
I just was kind of less into girls at that point and a little bit more into like I was actually a little bit more towards guys like in my class I actually did like more guys than girls like the girls were smart pretty and attractive it's just that I was kind of into a couple of guys I gotta stop saying guys and girls I was interested in the same gender and I like I knew even when I was 17 I knew that I was bisexual and um, I didn't but I didn't act upon it like I have yet at this point I have yet to kiss anybody or like have sex yeah I haven't done either so yeah because I'm kind of scared because I I don't like myself oh uh, shit I swear I have a lot more to say here um because a lot of like like I see a lot of attractive guys it's just that um I think they're like smarter and more and like like I'm just gonna say I put I compare myself to a lot of like guys and think to myself I don't think I can I don't think I can like ask them out because they might be my type but they're I'm probably not their type so that's why like I don't know um but I the reason, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video is because a few nights ago, uh, before I went to a drag, uh, a drag club with a few of my friends, um, we actually went to a bar and we actually were discussing sexual orientation. And one of them is transgender, a transgendered woman. Well, she is a woman. Um, and, she asked, when did I figure out I was bisexual? And I said 17. And she was like, I wish I figured it out earlier. And here's the thing. Um, it's never too late to figure out who you are. If you figure it out, you figure it out. And sometimes you might think that, you know, you wish that it would have happened a lot earlier, like figured stuff out a lot earlier. But sometimes it just takes time. Like, you could be married, a, a man could be married to a woman for like 10 years and something's not right. Like, he loves her, but something's not right. And then he figures out he's gay. So, and that doesn't mean, that's not a slight against the woman. It's just that, you know, she, it's just that he figured something out. And, you know, he loves her. It's just that he's not in love with her. I can't believe I said that. Um, and I don't know, because I think that, um, I think everybody needs to, like, everybody should know what they are, even though they're, like, digging deep and figuring out what they, what they know about themselves. Like, for me, I knew, again, I knew when I was 17, and she said that she wishes that she knew a lot earlier. It's never too late to figure out who you are, like what you like who you are, what you want to do with your life. It's never too late to figure that out. It's been like ten, yeah, it's been ten years since I um, came out as bisexual, not to my family, um, but to my very close friends, and that's because you know they're probably not into like they're not LGBTQ friendly, so I. I I haven't told anybody yet. Like I wear my hat on my my heart on my sleeves. Although I have a bisexual pin on my hat that I wear almost every day to cover up this mess of a hairstyle, which I'm gonna rebraid soon, probably tomorrow. So um, I had a lot more to talk about, and I really really wish, like I. Crap, I had a lot more to talk about. Um, but yeah. Sometimes 
it's you can sometimes it's early to um sometimes I had so much to say. Sometimes you find out wh who you are later in life. Like whether you're seven or seventeen or twenty-seven or even forty-seven, sometimes you just figure out who you are, but you're afraid to hurt somebody in that moment, in that space and time. So, um, yeah. But even like even though people actually are attractive, I don't think that. I'm attractive compared to everyone else. Granted, I'm not. I don't. Granted, I look like this, and um, you know, not many people would go for that. Um, but uh, yeah. Shit, I had a lot more to say. So um, I don't think this is the best video I've come across where I've done something like this because I had I shot a lot more serious things here but um I just want to say that it's okay so it's okay to express yourself and um, be who you are you know so um, if you have anything for me to like talk about or say I'll get back to you so um thank you for watching and thank you